uh, let us look at a little more details on the clinical manifestations okay uh, acute gastritis it usually occurs as antral gastritis or pan gastritis okay antrum of the stomach do you know where it is here is the antrum of the stomach here there could be gastritis antral gastritis antral gastritis it is called as then peptic ulcer disease how does peptic ulcer disease happen a very brief overview is given here so the way duodenal ulcer occurs is mentioned here gastric ulcer is they have not understood much about it but duodenal ulcer what exactly happens is the it inhibits somatostatin as it inhibits somatostatin gastrin becomes more as gastrin becomes more you will have more gastric acid right and hence there will be duodenal ulcer okay now mechanism of gastric ulcer it's not clearly understood the patient will present with um, gast epigastric pain epigastric pain pain please note epigastric pain with burning sensation the pain is on empty stomach so if it is pain is on empty stomach it means gastric ulcer there are two types of peptic ulcers basically there is duodenal ulcer and gastric ulcer gastric ulcer means the pain is on empty stomach okay following food if there is pain then it is a duodenal ulcer some of the other clinical manifestations are adenocarcinoma of stomach okay hodgkins gastric lymphoma non hodgkins gastric lymphoma etc like here in the beginning itself we mentioned it can cause gastric carcinoma right